Hello. My name is Scott. You're probably wondering why the YouTube channel is uh, named after Adriana. I figured because it's Our Lady's Feast Day, December 8th. Even though I'm uh, looking around at uh, um, stuff on the I'm kind of just laying on the couch today, but uh, here's who I used to look like. That was Adriana, you see. Um, obviously, there is quite a transformation. Oh, that's some dude in the bus station. But there's obviously hormones, seven years. Give me a green dot in the eye. No, I'm just kidding. But here's the point. I want to give a testimony in honor of Our Lady. So you can see the same glasses. Eh? It's been over a year and a half since St. Joseph inspired me to go back to being myself. Uh, I only went halfway through the whole thing. I only had one surgery and archaeotomy. Changed my life forever. I was, I had a spiritual director. There was a theologian. There was a bishop. I was part of the church community. I was in the CWL. This is an arts and environment. I was accepted and loved. But God showed me. Yeah, I was heading straight to hell, and I had many experiences that uh, made me change. And it was confession and the Eucharist on the acceptance by the Legionaries of Christ and the Franciscans, of whom I'm a 30-year member. Uh, but gradually it dawned on me that I... There's no such thing as a man changing into a woman, and so I quit. On the feast day of St. Francis, the doctors called, where you been? Uh, I'm out. I want to be discharged. Yep, I want to serve the living God. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I hope to please God, and I hope to please Our Lady by giving testimony of the power of confession and the Eucharist and the goodness of these priests and the, the, the fact that uh, a lot of my friends stuck with me through the whole thing a lot still don't even know what happened and so there's confusion because I got one phone that's Adriana's one phone Scott's but pretty much all my ID has been changed back and you know, long it's been two years since hormones threw all that out it's all over it's all over but the crying because it's seven years out of my life and uh, I learned a lot how to cry at weddings I learned a lot about marginalization I learned a lot about how women are treated in society but other than that all I managed to do is offend almighty God and he was so patient with me. And he's still being patient with me. And now I attend daily mass. And I play guitar in the train stations. And I visit my grandchildren when I can. And I hear him say, hi, Grandpa. Because there's no way I was going to confuse those poor little fellers. So Adrian is gone. Just a memory. And I testify to the power of the real presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. And I'm making reparation for the offenses against him, all the sacrileges and differences. So as soon as you can, become Catholic. As soon as you can, go through RSAA. As soon as you can, visit a church and sit with Jesus and keep him company. As soon as you can, if you're in a transition, stop it. 
because you will regret it. And uh, suicide is quite a possibility too. All you have to do is look at the statistics. So this has been five minutes. Who's got five minutes nowadays to even listen to anything on YouTube? So that's my confession and that's my witness in a nutshell. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Good night. God's will is your